Hey, what's going on everybody? You're tuning into Rookie Outdoors right now, and on this video segment, I'm going to be covering over two main things. Number one, I'm going to tell you guys the difference between native fish versus hatchery fish, and then the second thing is I'm going to tell you how to tag a fish properly. This is going to really be uh, specific to Oregon laws and regulations, for the, so for those who are watching from Washington, California, Idaho, or other areas that catch these species, uh, these rules may or may not apply to you. So make sure to look them up on your Department of Fish and Wildlife page. Um, so starting off, I'm going to tell the difference between a wild uh, versus a hatchery fish. So how the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife works is they release a certain amount of farm-raised hatchery fish every single year for salmon and steelhead. And what they do to identify these fish is they clip the adipose fin, which is the fin in the back top of the fish uh, right before the tail. And uh, it's a small, small little fin. And it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything, which is why they use this to identify the difference between um, you know, hatchery versus native fish. But um, they have these hatchery fish for anglers to harvest, and then they want the native population to be able to come back and reproduce at greater numbers. Um, they don't want anglers catching these native fish because they have um, usually a lot better genetics and a better bl bloodline to pass down than, than the um, hatchery fish that they release. And so, the adipose fin is going to tell you the difference between a hatchery versus native fish. Every single river can be a little bit different too, um, so make sure you can check your regulations on how many fish you can harvest, um, what type of fish you can harvest, but um, in most rivers it's going to be two salmon or steelhead and they have to be hatchery. Um, so moving on to um, a couple of controversial things uh, with ver uh, clip versus non-clip fish. Um, you would think it'd be as easy as just looking at the tail, but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to identify. Um, the, t the fin, when they clip it, it'll usually scar over. Uh, they'll be hard, tough, it'll be lumpy, bumpy, little spot on there. But if it has a fin, there'll be a little uh, fleshy part sticking out, a tail. You should look it up on Google, kind of the differences in the images. I'll, I'll post a couple on here, as you can see. But you, it's best if you look them up. Uh, to get a better idea and be confident in identifying these different fish. I will say there are a couple of controversial topics that come up with this, especially with uh, anglers reporting of salmon steelhead that have uh, misclip fins, which you'll hear a lot, and uh, that's where they clip part of the fin, but it regrows back or it, doesn't, it isn't all the way clipped off, so it gets pretty tough to identify whether or not you can keep the fish or not. But always play it safe. If there's even a remotely a fleshy part on the fin, let the fish go, let it swim, and that way you won't have any issues with Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. There's always another fish you can catch out there. So once you've identified your fish between a, a native versus hatchery, um, and you know it is a hatchery fish, go ahead and grab your Oregon license. And uh, like every single state, you need to have an Oregon fishing license. And with the Oregon fishing license, you should have your Columbia River endorsement tag which is pretty important, especially those on the west coast side of Oregon. Um, it's usually needed for uh, most, most fisheries there. And so inside that Oregon uh, license, there should be a yellow sheet for species and a yellow sheet for location. So the yellow sheet for location is going to give you the numbers to put down on your license uh, what river you're at. And then species is for, you know, the species. Like if you're going for salmon, it'll tell you what to mark down for that. If you're going for steelhead, it'll tell you what to mark down for that. Before you throw another uh, line in the water, you need to make sure that you have completely tagged your current fish that you've caught um, because this is really important. I mean, people can get in a lot of trouble with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife for not tagging their fish. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's, it's not too difficult of a process. It's not that difficult of a um, video that I'm making, but it is something that is really necessary if you want to get into salmon or steelhead fishing. Um, you can't go out and, and go fishing for these species if you don't know what you're looking for, what you're doing, because you can get in a lot of trouble. Um, but I hope it helps. If you have any questions, post them down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe and like this video. There's tons of new content that's going to be coming out. Make sure to check out the steelhead video that I uh, just posted recently if you haven't already. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.